to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. Back after an unscheduled summer vacation, I had a little health scare a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to talk about that right up front here on the program. But first, a big thank you to all those who wrote emails and contacted me on YouTube when they noticed the show was late. Here's the deal. <clears throat> I had a heart attack. A very minor one, eh, but still a heart attack. I was lucky I got to the hospital when I did, the doctor says. Otherwise, this episode may have been a memorial conducted by someone else. In, in my honor, of course. I, uh, <clears throat> I had 95% blockage in my main artery and received a stint along with a bunch of medication that I will be taking for the rest of my life. Now, before you ask, no, this condition had nothing to do with smoking. I'm not saying that smoking is, is safe for people with a heart condition, but in my case, it's completely unrelated. In fact, I don't even consider my, myself to be a, a smoker, you know? Um, more of a cigar aficionado, yeah. Uh, my heart attack was brought on by years of ignored high blood pressure, a really poor diet, and sitting on my lazy butt behind a desk for 70 or 80 hours a week, not cigarettes or cigars. My doctor told me, however, that uh, it would probably be in my best interest to give up the cigars. And as much as it pains me to let them go, along with bacon, cheese sticks, and fried foods in general, I would rather watch my kids grow up. So, uh, okay. Um, the reason I'm supposed to avoid cigars is that inhaling even a little bit of smoke can restrict the arteries. It can, can make them tighten up, I guess. And, and for me, in my case, that's just... Uh, not a, a choice that I want to make. As, as for the smoke report, the show you're watching now, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be right here defending your right to make your choices for yourself when and if that time comes, whether it be right now or 5, 10, 15 years from now. I'll be here doing the smoke report, wishing I could have a Cuban with you. Who knows? Maybe a non-nicotine e-cig? We'll be right back. e-cigarette starter kit offer. Now comes word that electronic cigs are one of the best ways to stop smoking if that's what you're interested in. And if not, e-cigs are still great for smokers too. You know, there are times when you can't light up. You're at work or in a public place and you just need that real quick, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ah, whatever the reason. If you want to see where you can get your free electronic cigarette starter kit, just go back and watch my May 30th show called The French Cigarette Revolution. All the details are in that episode. Lastly, a site called Keystone Politics, based in Pennsylvania, was kind enough to allow someone calling himself 
John to voice his opinion on a proposed smoking ban in that state which would prohibit tobacco in all bars and all taverns. John eloquently points out that this law is overdue and he's thankful it will stop smokers from poisoning his air. <clears throat> so, uh, John, may I call you John? Thanks. If you're out there, I just wanted to say that your point is very well thought out. I mean, you, sir, have the right to go wherever you want. And others should curtail their activity and choices around your decisions, after all. I mean, if you want to go to a bar where the owner has decided to allow smoking, and the other patrons go there so that they can smoke while they're having their drink, then they, by all means, should make every effort to ensure your comfort. While you're at the bar, be sure to point out to everyone who will listen that they are destroying their liver by putting alcohol into their bodies, so please put their drink down. Then when they all file outside the door thanking you for saving their lives, and they get in their cars and trucks, please point out that their choice to drive is polluting the globe and contributing to global warming, melting the ice caps, destroying polar bear habitat, changing the sea levels. It's all up to you, John. It's all up to you. You're the only one that has the sense and the mental fortitude to save us from ourselves. I gotta watch my blood pressure, so I'm gonna go. Big shout out to our hero, John, in Pennsylvania. We'll see you in two weeks on another edition of The Smoke Report. You're supposed to be, supposed to be my friend. You're supposed